Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... I'd like to start this episode off... by giving a shout-out to Yornik. Who says, uh... Ugh, the necromancer is so, so scary and evil. Like, we haven't seen this particular sort of shit ever before. It's always death is the end, and nobody should mess with it. Right up until they need help, and then it's suddenly, ooh, pretty, pretty please, gaze through the veil and raise me an army that I don't have to feed or arm. And nobody ever recognizes that it's actually bloody hard, and also bloody, and hard, work that takes a lot of time and effort to do right. That's one of the reasons why necromancers prefer to live in difficult to reach and generally unwelcoming places. Dark caves, grim castles, distant islands, Alaska. If they can't find you, they can't beg you, these annoying heartbeat-having breathers. <laughs> My favorite part of that is that it's not the only commenter on the wavelength of making jokes about the necromancer. Shout out to Roshan, who says, The thing about the necromancer is that in life, he was the bodybuilder's long-lost twin. Builder body! Never took to the gym well, but had a knack for medicine. Ended up becoming an in-the-field doctor. A super well-known one, in fact. Though not for the reason you think. No, sir. Builder body was well-known for being fashionably late to any situation where he was needed. But that didn't stop him from healing folks. Never did figure out why they started to rot a few weeks after he treated them. Must have been a skin condition that all of his patients had. Must have just been a skin condition all of his patients had. He never did get an answer on that probability before his timely demise, though. <laughs> Ridiculous. Let's go say hi. Oh no! Monstros! You know what? What? Oh. Well, that was a disaster. I forgot to consider that these guys are not immune to poison. Oh. Move around, Infinite Quest. I can't believe I have completed, like, what is it, like, five Infinite Quests now? No! My little friends! Murder you through this uh, fence over here. Ah! I didn't realize this guy was doing that much damage. Normally they're kind of a joke. That's right, Bomb. You couldn't even harm an egg with your explosion. That was a decent enough amount of damage from one explosion. Run away! Run out! Oh god. I really don't like those guys. Let's do that and pull it all towards me. Oh, there's food just there. Ugh. Why does that take so much longer to drain out than poison or anything else? Or anything I've ever inflicted on an enemy, including slow. Wait. Move away from these. I guess we're in sector four. Oh, hey. And while I'm up here, let's use the other, the egg's other bonuses to do this. Okay, right, it's 25, so that's fine. Sadly, I'm not going to get the complete dungeons quest here, but, you know. I should go back to that. I'm just hesitant to throw myself at the, uh, the roguelike one. Especially when we're halfway through the month, and, uh... 
hope to play a uh, Halloween game. Well, I'm going to play a horror game next either way. I had just been hoping to play it for the holiday. You know? Maybe we don't make the day. I'll do some more uh, Friday the 13th killer puzzle. That's funny. I had thought I had mentioned it to my friends when they were giving it away for free because they were going to take it off the store. But, uh... When I brought it up with my good friend Ronan Drake, he initially thought I was talking about, like, the multiplayer game. The one that's, like, Dead by Daylight, except with Jason. Oh, there's another chest just here. Beep boop. Oh boy, more of them. Oh, of course they do more damage. These ones have antlers and crowns. Burn for me! I bet it smells real, real bad when they, uh, you burn one of these things. No! I'm not supposed to do that. Oh, shit! It would have done any good against them anyway. Hmm, I've just had the thought of doing a dungeon where, uh, you have to rely on numbers, where it's like, Every class it rots the whole time you're in there, except for the zombie. Or, you know, only familiar damage is, uh, uh, something that forces you to raise an army. I slap this, and I slap this. They really do hit way harder than I thought. Hmm. I just realized I shifted from the dragon to the egg it hatched from and back again. They're not even set to different times. Sea slug would be way more damage than I was expecting, but it's funny that the uh, those poison vomiting guys are actually doing way less damage than I expected. You know, they're, they would be—they're a massive threat when you're constantly getting poisoned. But if you're wearing the uh, the immunity uh, passive, then they just do 87 damage at a time. Oh. 
<laughs> Another goddamn chest. Oh, fighting room. I got that one already in this dungeon. Infinite quest, get health. Let me just check the others. Move around. Okay, no, no, no. It's nowhere near. Sure, sure. <laughs> I'm getting back up to break wards, though. Oh. There's only two mana fairies left in the entire game. I feel like I've probably seen at least one of them. Right, that doesn't turn, that doesn't turn! Yeah, the dragon's fire is one of those things you do not need to hold R to maintain your, uh, angle. Like the, uh, the slug's, uh, tears, yes. I can't believe this! There's two more right here! I've gotten this, uh, uh, infinite quest in this dungeon, and I'm already up to 7 out of 25 chests opened. The staircase! Another one all the way back there. Horse! I think the horse still just has the edge. Yeah, yeah. The upgrade, the passive is 130 speed, the horse is 150. Wow, so even with that in, uh, upgraded, uh, sorry, with, even with that equipped, the horse would still, uh, be slowed down a little bit by, you know, the slow effect. Oh, there it is. $34 and a turnip. I'm not going to complain. Magnabbit. nothing. We hold your mind. We are more than you. Does it hope to save the others too? Why? The fragility, the ridiculous rotting societies, your own thoughts. Oh! Wow, that's um, that's one of the giant crabs, all right. Except it's completely covered in fungus. Yeah. Hmm. Don't love that. The color scheme's not great either. But my lozenge wrapper does say "be unstoppable," so I might as well give it a shot. Kill the ads. Kill the ads. Oh, for God's sake, kill the muff guy. Oh god! Do you mind, buddy? Thank you. <laughs> Did not actually mean for him to burn to death right after I said that. That was just very convenient. Ah! Uh, crabs aren't supposed to be able to do that! 
Who gave the crab a gun? Oh, my mana. Oh, no. Oh god, look at all those summoners! Uh... Oh my mana, I can't even use fire breath! Okay, okay. You're still gonna burn. No. Oh, no. I do have Zom Nom Nom on. Can I upgrade that while we're uh, doing this? No, because the zombie is not a tier B. Hmm. Fucking crab fry over here. Fuck! The range on that thing is crazy! But hopefully not too badly. Go! I need to be able to hit him from a distance without him hitting me and... Excuse me! What does he have on? Uh... Okay, so I'm for immunity to poison. Uh, oh, that's good for him. Hardened shell. Um... Since I haven't loaded yet, the uh, thing should still be there. Okay. Hmm. I suppose I could swap in, uh... What was it? Spooky, and uh, just drive everyone away. That would be kind of funny. I never did get the chance to really fuck around with Boo in here. And it's not a great place for it with all those wards and it doing none of them. Ah, uh, I don't have this slot open or I would... Dragons are very large characters, and moving out of the way of attacks is proving kind of difficult. Even with the, uh, the speed increase. Maybe if 
keeping in mind, this is me being able to totally ignore the uh, poison puddles. Ow. You little shit. No, the timer. Yeah, it's because I needed more stress right now. Damn it. No! out Robot for Bodybuilder, because he is all about the blunt damage. What does he have equipped? That, that, and... Mm, okay. Oh, God. Necromancer is actually slightly bigger than the bodybuilder. Go figure. You just gotta get the fuck out of his way. <laughs> fuck your crowds! No! No! I'm burning dog face, and I'll call it here so that this episode doesn't go on for four million years. I'll see you next time on Let's Play Nobody Saves the World, and we keep throwing ourselves at this boss, and hopefully find a way to crack that crustacean's shell. Until then, have yourselves a great day, and uh, wish me luck, burning dog fans. I just might need it this time. Later!